Now, hi. Meet the ghost in this excerpt. Uh, the ghost in this excerpt is the ghost of all the cats. My father used to drown because he was bored growing up in Turkey. Is uh -huh. Zombie cat elegy excerpt. You're a five-step guide to lesbian deathbed. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, you said to me, it's happening to us. It's inevitable. It's happening to my friends. It's happening to your friends. We're next in line, I'm telling you. What's happening, I ask? There's water dripping from the ceiling, a stray cat meowing at the door. Lesbian deathbed, you say, in caps, like an entry in the DSM. Footnote, see also hysteria, see also frigidity, see also, are you blaming me for the dike bars closing? <laughs> <laughs> That's a myth, I say, and anyway, it's bed death, not deathbed. Small word, big difference. <laughs> One's a desert, the other's a black hole. One's permanent, the other results in ghosts. One you have to bury the body, the other there's no body. Pay attention, small word, big difference. <laughs> Two, get in bed. Confession, you're not my first deathbed. My first lesbian deathbed was my father's. Bright yellow, queen sized, sagging around his dumpling jalaba shape, and his lungs drowning him three miles from the ocean. I could have asked, why did you drown those cats? If he could have spoken, he would have only have told me the immigrant cover story. Stop me if you've heard it. He came to America with nothing but glass cutters in his pocket. He came to America with nothing but a deck of cards in his pocket. He came to America with nothing but all the treasures of the exotic orient in his pocket. Open sesame, inshallah. He came to America with nothing, I tell you, nothing at all in his pocket. He came to America with a dead cat in his pocket. <laughs> Compare. Another deathbed. His sister, my aunt, dying of an incurable disease once fatal to certain women of her generation. Disease of no husband. Disease <laughs> of too short hair and cigarettes. Disease <laughs> of motorcycle dreams of 100 puff pastry cigarette baraki rolls so tight around perfect minted feta. Here, eat. Her deathbed to me was an email, subject line, you run out of ants. In this family, we're not sentimental. In this family, we might be drowners of cats. Don't tell me I didn't warn you. <laughs> they say you can turn people into things after they die, objectified finally once and for all. You can turn your relative into a tree or a mushroom. <laughs> You can squeeze grandma's ashes into a diamond. You can cremate your lover and encase them in a dildo, but don't do that with grandma. Also, Ed Lorraine Warren, Deleted Files. <laughs> when I die, I want to be made into something really tacky. Something embarrassing forever that you won't be able to get rid of. <laughs> when I die, make me into a sexy leg lamp with gilded edges. <laughs> when I die, make me an alabaster poodle neon telephone. <laughs> Make me a coffee cup. Make me into a t-shirt. A t-shirt that says, my girlfriend died, and all I got was a shitty t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and then, my deathbed can be the back of your closet, bottom drawer, where you put all the shirts that you don't wear, and the pants that you don't fit, and where it smells the most like you. <laughs>